YouTubers. This is the first of um, a series I'm going to make about my new polytunnel. Um, what I wanted to do is show people what's possible with a fairly cheap polytunnel that doesn't require a lot of effort to make. Now clearly I've done some stuff already. Um, I think most people can bolt a polytunnel together. It's about the little bits that are important. Um, so first of all then, so if you look down at the bottom here, this is my base. I'll show you this one in particular. So it's just fence posts. I've used some metal plates that you just nail in. You can get them on Amazon really cheap. Um, so that's made it a bit longer because this is a three by two meter poly. And then on the end there, I'll show you on the inside, I've got an angle bracket. So I made the base first, did it on some flat decking to be easy, dropped it in place, screwed it onto the back there. And uh, if we have a look, um, it's giving it a really stable place to sit. It's not going to blow away because I've bolted it down. So let's have a look through. I'm going to take a shortcut, make it easier. So the garden is not amazing at the moment because it's kind of in the middle of winter, um, but it's going to get better. So now this is where we're quite interesting. Um, so obviously here we've got a really uh, rubbishy zip door. Well, the zip door is going to be converted um, to a wooden frame. And we're going to see how that works in a minute. Okay, so the first phase of creating the uh, bed is to take uh, some 50 mil wood screws. So, because it's a fence post, you want something pretty decent. So, the, uh, these are just little bed corner brackets, so they're really quite strong. So, obviously, that's going to be the inside. And my uh, end piece that I'm going to cut out of another post will just butt up like this. And then what I'm going to do, just move it over a touch, is I've got a good size 120 uh, screw, see how far that goes in. But what I'm going to do is I will pre-drill here first, and then it will screw in much easier and butt that right up, and then we'll secure it, and then this won't turn. It'll be held really square, and that will be my U-shape for my pathway. And then I can uh, fill it with bark and stuff like that, get the saw done. Okay, so this is going to be my end piece for my bed. So I've cut a piece 60 centimetres long. And then I've marked the thickness of the other piece of wood, done a little crossover. And then I'm going to pre-drill my drill here right the way in. And that will mean that I won't split the log, it's less likely, and it will bind together better. So we'll pre-drill those and then we're going to get it onto the U-shape. Okay, so I've got the bed in place. I've got some uh, little corner brackets in here. I've put one screw in just to hold it. And then we're gonna put the really long screw in here in a minute. Um, I've got to take a little bit of soil out here um, just to get it level. So I'm gonna get a level in a second. You can see look, that's the end piece. So that will get put on in a second and then we're good to go. And then we'll get, get the path sorted bit of soil around the edge. That's the, uh, that's the next step almost there. It's starting to look more like a polytunnel. Okay, so next step then. So we're going to get a bit of uh, manure, a bit of uh, Jack's Magic, and spread it round, all the U-shape, mix it in a little bit, and we're going to do the pathway and finish off. So not too much to go. Just going to slip the bags open and keep the bags. I definitely think these are really useful for you just spread them out, stop any weeds growing. So you'll see me doing that. That works quite nicely. And then you can reuse them for all sorts and put them inside a planter. So it's, it's always worth saving the plastic if you can. Okay, so had a little bit of raking, a little bit of smoothing out of the pathway. Did a bit of a rinse off the wood. So just to be clear, those people that find these hard to judge, that was um, six bags at 50 litres, that's magic, half a bag of manure, so I put half of it on, put the manure in, the other half on, trot it down, raked it a couple of times, it is ready to rumble but I will cover it pretty shortly and that will stop any weeds growing before I put tomatoes in, so the plan will be tomatoes on the outside cucumbers, on the inside it will be peppers, and basil going all the way around. There should be plenty of room to do everything I want. So I'm now going to put my uh, put my weed mat down. I'm going to hook it into the soil, 
and then we'll get some bark in there. Now then, so I'm doing my pathway. I need to start. You can see I've been putting in these special kind of staples, so they're like metal, and you just pull your weed mat tight, drop it in, it keeps it in place. Let's show you it's really easy. That was it. Pulls it really tight down. Now the problem is it's really wet at the moment with the ground, but so you can see I've I've done a double layer, and then what I use is this little this little this little knife. And you push it in, it's hard to see at the moment, but you work it very gently and it gets it really neat. And then what happens is when the edges don't end up all coming up, it shorts itself very nicely. So I'm gonna work my way around, do the whole pathway, and then we'll drop in our bark and it will be job done. Okay, so the pathway is all sorted. Everything's neat, it's all good to go. This is this is the thing though. Just getting that underneath makes it way, way quicker. And then at the end I've got a little overlap and a large piece to go over and a large piece underneath. And that's actually quadruple folded at the end just because I was using it up. But don't be stingy on the weed mat and buy good quality. It will last. And I'm just gonna keep putting my bark on top. And it will rot away nicely each year and degrade and then I'll just keep on topping up eventually I'll dig it out and it's really wide down and it'll end up in there so it's kind of a win-win for everyone so I'm going to drop some more bark in okay then people there's the bark that is a full-size bale huge bale of uh, western landscaping bark so well worth it and uh, some's gone in the outside as well my pathway so I'll make it all nice and fresh and then I've not put too much in so there's a little bit of a room to mulch down. I've given it a good spray off because it tends to be a bit acky um, initially. So I sprayed my wood, sprayed it off, and then it will dry nicely. Give me just that organic pathway that I want. And then when it rains as well, the rain will get absorbed uh, from these, obviously, the sprinklers. And it just all nicely work in tandem. So it's a really organic way of doing your gardening and super easy and it looks neat. And I'm surprised actually at how dry it is. So even on a really wet day, you can walk on it. See my wallets. And it's really quite wet and it does move a bit initially. When it modges down, it works really well. So next plan, we're gonna have to tackle this doorway. Let's get some uh, some framework in. Mm -hmm. 